And like you just saw from his photos, business owners and neighbors in Augusta are dealing with flooding through the center of town. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian was there today and reports on how they are responding. On Monday afternoon, Augusta's Main Street was still full of water. The town once again faced serious flooding, less than a year after another major flood caused damage and delayed the Augusta Rodeo. Authorities closed both Highway 287 and Highway 21, along with several smaller roads. Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's deputies say floodwaters damaged a bridge on Highway 21 about a mile down from a bridge that washed out in last year's flooding. Authorities cautioned residents in about half a dozen nearby homes to evacuate. Sheriff Leo Dutton asked the public to respect the road closures and never try to drive through floodwaters. Please just don't go around it and decide that you're going to try to make it anyway. You will get swept off the road here, so we are going to have to start issuing citations. All along Main Street in Augusta, you can find businesses with sandbags set up to help keep the water out. They're asking people to avoid driving down Main Street because the wakes they create can push the water over the top of the bags. At the Western Bar, owner Candy Shawls said they began putting up sandbags Sunday afternoon, and that made a big difference. We've got a little water in the basement, but nothing um, compared to last year. Before it came down Main Street, we were able to contain it and make sure that things were, were much better in the bar and much more contained. Volunteers filled hundreds of sandbags at the Augusta Fire Station on Sunday. We have little ones like this out here, and we had a lot of high school kids out there yesterday sandbagging. Some in town are making the best of the situation. The Western Bar started holding duck races down Main Street, with the proceeds going toward the Augusta Area Chamber of Commerce to pay for sand and sandbags. We're just trying to give back to the community, and so we thought what better than to have a little fun and have some duck races and make some money and to go back to the chamber. Dutton said authorities will reassess what needs to be done on Tuesday. He asked the public to be patient. The water started to recess just a little bit, but we'll keep a uh, keep a monitor on it and see what we need to do. In Augusta, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Officials say please be careful in and around floodwaters. Flood water can also contaminate drinking wells, so bottled, uh, bottled water will be available at the Augusta Fire Station.